insane! <laughs> We have received the package. Oh man, are we excited about today's video, y'all. Look at what is on the ground. A brand new kayak, but not just any kayak, man. This one's over the top, decked out like you would not believe. We gotta put it together. In fact, act like you haven't even seen this thing yet because we have to unbox it for you guys. Plus, we gotta figure out how we're gonna even get this thing to the water because our bona fides are on the trailer. So we're gonna have to make some, uh, we're gonna have to do some maneuvering out with the old and with the new but it's called an old town, so out with the old, in with the old. Stepping outside for the intro, by the way, was just long enough for me to realize I need to change out of this hoodie because it's 100 degrees outside. What the heck is this thing for? We got a lot of stuff to research. I guess this is probably the pedal drive system. PDL drive, that's pretty sweet. What's this, like a tackle box? No, extra parts. I assume one of these is to drop down your rudder and one might be to steer. Man, this is gonna be sweet. Our first pedal drive kayak. Compliments of Old Town Canoes, man. We are super stoked on this one. We are gonna give you guys the first impressions very soon. Stick around for that. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit notifications so you see that video when it drops. We gotta get this thing on the water. Okay, got the backpack with all the gear. Uh, by that I mean GoPros. Got the Peter McKinnon hat. Got the Gill goggles. Save, uh, I don't know how much you guys can save on these. I actually forgot, but you can save money on these if you want them. You can check out the link in the description for a, a discount on all your Guggen gear. They're quite affordable, they're polarized, and they will help you catch the fish. In other words, they're beneficial. Getting it rigged, rigged and ready. I think what we're gonna have to do is pull this thing out of the garage and then take a kayak out and then put that kayak back in the garage and then load up the one that is in the house which is the new old town and then get to the water so we can then talk about it. We have made it y'all. The first thing you will notice is that it is a little shorter than our other kayak. Therefore, it uh, doesn't stay held in place without actually getting tied down. The bona fides just literally sit here and it's perfectly flush with the back and the design allows it to actually sit under here and it's locked in place. So the bona fide, when you put these two side by side is perfect with this trailer, it won't move at all. What we had to do with the old town, just one little extra step as we locked down the front and uh, that was really that. That way it wouldn't push against that back gate and hit the rudder, potentially damage it. And also, um, yeah, I guess just no damage is the main goal, right? You just got it. So. Let me give you guys the full rundown of this brand new kayak, courtesy of Old Town Canoes, man. We cannot thank them enough for supplying us with this right here, and there's actually another on the way. We could not be more hyped, Devin and I, to bring you guys some awesome footage. And uh, yeah, so just big thanks to Old Town. If you guys wanna check out these kayaks, which I do highly recommend, I already know they're the bomb, because we have plenty of friends using these things. A huge shout out to MDLR Fishing, man. You guys, if you have not heard of Mark, you need to go check out his channel. It is gonna be linked, and he put in a good word for us that actually helped us secure a couple of these things. So we could not be more excited, dudes, to show you this kayak and all it is capable of also sorry about the wind noise y'all uh, there's like an unexpected storm coming in I guess so if it's a little breezy we do apologize but it's not gonna take away from hearing about what all we have on deck we're just gonna start our way from the front work to the back so you got your handle boom and in the back there's actually two handles so I'm, I'll show you that when we get there right then you got this bad boy right here open well it only opens from one side which is smart this thing will stay locked there on that rope and won't get lost just pull up on that it won't go anywhere it is actually secured with a rope boom I've heard you can toss seven foot combos in here probably seven foot plus we'll just, just give it the old test what is this a seven foot two or something we'll find out now I don't like doing this I think it jeopardizes your equipment and it already feels like it's gonna snap so yeah, that's a little sketchy. I don't know if it was like a medium light spinning combo. Let's try this side. Woo! Yeah, so you probably won't catch me storing rods in this thing, but that's besides the point. You got plenty of space to store a lot of gear in here. So y'all do as you please. Next, we've got the bar system that actually ends up holding your PDL drive in place. 
and we will talk about that more as we get it set up. You got a couple pockets here for tackle on the go, put maybe your terminal box, maybe had some soft plastics. I actually grabbed my pliers right off the bat, toss the pliers right there. Those are gonna come in handy for sure. Underneath you got space for like, let's say another tackle box. I put one of our big bait boxes down here. Boom, you got the little C deck here. Comfort while you're standing, maybe you wanna go just barefoot. A couple little scupper plugs here. Boom, keeping your yak nice and dry. Also, you got rails for accessories. Let's say you wanna mount some electronics. Let's say you wanna put a GoPro mount. Let's say you wanna do anything under the sun. So many accessories you could deck these things out with. You have the opportunity with those rails. Also, you've got two handles on the side. This is pretty cool. You could probably carry this uh, kayak around by yourself. I think it's like, oh, dude, is this one 80 pounds or something like that? I think it's 100 pounds with the pedal drive. I think it's manageable to carry this thing around by yourself. The seat is quite comfy. You just saw me sit down in it. The seat just sits on the hole right here. So that's easy enough. And you actually use these straps to kind of tighten it down and lock that seat in place. Now underneath, a little bit more storage, a couple more scupper holes. You got also, what is that, a drink holder? Damn, we got a cup holder in this thing. Living the life of luxury dudes. Another open compartment here, boom. Basically the more compartments, the better right lock that up oh this is cool for you guys that maybe don't have a black box like we have got or you don't you, know, you haven't got a milk carton yet with some rod holders in place like we actually have you get three rod holders on this thing right off the bat watch yourself <laughs> one two and i've got the net right over here in the third spot check this thing out good to go when you land the big catch i personally do really like having one of these boxes for your rod and reels i like the fact that they just stand straight up i think there's less chance of losing them Having three rod holders right when you get this thing off the shelf though is fantastic, you guys. Working our way back, I'm probably gonna end up strapping this thing down just so that it's uh, nice and secure. I do have some soft plastics in here, but that's all great because what I don't want this to do is shake backwards. I'm gonna have to find something, some sort of system to where the rudder won't get hit and damaged. Uh, with my box you guys go ahead and suggest some things down in the comments if you would also let me know what modifications you guys want to see to this thing because we do have big plans and want to deck this thing out so lastly you got your rudder back here and you you do have a spot to mount a shallow water anchor hardware not included but you can get that set up it's essentially like a power pole for your kayak and you can go ahead and station yourself and i would say depths of between six and eight feet i want to assume is what this thing will accommodate before we set up the pedal drive system you guys that they recommend you do not travel with on the boat what we're going to do is tell you about the accessories they have sent us so they have included two carlisle paddles the thing has a measuring stick you are good to go also check this out i found this out from y'all in the comments section this guy right here is actually a lure retrieval tool so what happens is let's say you get stuck on a tree or whatever right you can go ahead and put your line in this little slot right here and you can push that paddle down along the line and try and retrieve your baits with the paddle genius no more trying to push your rod tip down there and maybe potentially breaking tips things of that nature that is a solid idea big props they have also supplied Devin and I with a couple vests, man. Check us out. So we're staying protected. We'll keep these on the crafts. They've also got pockets. This is the kayak angler edition. So you can store, tackle, terminal, things of that nature right there in those front pockets and stay safe while you're doing it. They include a tackle box. Pretty sick. This is a uh, paddle holder to go on the side of your yak, which is going to be great. We're going to need a paddle, whether it's a pedal drive or not. Even like if you launch in a place like this, your pedal can't be, your PDL drive won't be able to be deployed the second you get in the water. There's thick grass until we work out a little ways. Then we're going to see this thing really shine in the wind. It's going to be something of beauty, but the paddle is going to be necessary. All right, y'all, and that's about it. I mean, ours came with the rudder installed. We're just going to try and put this thing on. I mean, it can't be that difficult, right? Loosen those. Move the bar. I assume it goes right here. Might need to do a little loosening or tightening. Let's just go ahead and set this down. See how we're looking. So, boom, in place. Let's lock this. You do want to make sure this is centered, which I don't know if I can even tell yet. We'll get it figured out though. And then these, these knobs can tighten right here. That way when you do get it centered, it's not shifting from left to right. All right, y'all, here we go. Check it out, just got her installed. Pop the paddle in, bring this rubber piece up and over. Locked in place, dude, not going anywhere. Ready to rock. Man, I'll tell you what, I could not be more excited. Let's get this thing in the water and see what this pedal drive is all about. Could not ask for a better day to test this thing out than with some high winds. Devin's on the paddle yak, and I'm gonna be on this bad boy right here. We might have to switch at halftime just to both get the full experience. Let's go. Whew. 
We're here, man. Man, have we got a lot of exciting stuff in store for you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in for the unboxing of the Old Town. 106 PDL, man, the thing is absolutely sick. And you're gonna find that out in the next couple of videos. If you guys wanna check one of these things out for yourself, the link is down in the description, man. Thank you guys so much for checking this one out. We were very pumped to get this thing on the water. The second half of what we filmed yesterday being the first impressions is coming up next, y'all. So we'll see you on that one. Peace. Oh.